Hey guys, I Horror Movies here, welcome back, let's play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. In the last episode, we rescued Ron Far in the fourth tower, the red tower, then we met up with Lord Leo again, who was now apparently Leo again and not in the stair, and we had found our way, well first off, we rescued Lucia, and um, yeah, freed her from Dalian, and then faked Althena, and then now we are outside the hidden fifth tower of Pentagulia, which we are going to go in today, but we can't, um, because there's a force food around it. Um, Lucia, you didn't tell us about that, um... Well, I guess we can just leave. And yeah, we kind of noticed that. But yeah, what is actually making that force field anyway? Oh, well, there you go. That's convenient. Um, who said that? Oh, oh crap, it's a fake Althena. Oh crap, this is the Goddess Tower. Um, is this the wrong use of the word? of ironic, or is it just me? The yeah, ironic that the seal was created by the very power that she used for protection. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Anyway, not gonna worry about that. Uh-huh. Had a little help from your dear servants being the other members of the Chosen who are not fun. And now we're surrounded by, um, Jackie Chan, um, Pillsbury Doughboy, um, some no-name chick, and a fake. That's just fantastic, isn't it? Anyway, you're gonna sacrifice us? That seems a little extreme. And, wait, Galleon? What? Um, where is he? I don't see him anywhere. What is going on? Where's that peaceful music coming from? Sounds all nice and la-la-la and happy and whatnot. And, um... Oh, Althena? Um, can we actually see her? And... What the hell's going on? Well, we just teleported, so that's, that, that's one answer, I guess. Well, we teleported away because of the Dragon Wings. Um, I guess you didn't actually hear heroes say that, you idiots. Dumb bimbo. And thankfully, we were able to escape from Dalian because, yeah, he pretty much kicked the ass in the first battle, which wasn't, wasn't even really fair. Ooh, burn. And, yeah. Um, what's going on? Uh-oh. I'll be quiet now. So far, you what's left of your head. It is not necessary to roam the land chasing Lucia and her ragtag party of misfits. They will return to this very spot of their own free will. Lucia must return to this tower to meet Althea and complete her mission. Yes, Zophar, but I'm certain that Lucia will try to free the four dragons you have sealed to save Althea. She must... <laughs> Strengthen the seal and make certain that she does not succeed. For the moment, I will just watch and relish the way she worms her way into the hearts of the humans that have foolishly befriended her. She is so misguided to even try to harness the power of humankind to complete her mission. But her attachment will be her undoing. I ever mentioned that Zophar's voice actor is amazing, and his voice in this game is, is just fantastic? Just wanted to throw that out there. And, oh, we have teleported back to, looks like, Taven's Peach. I, I have no idea why we teleported back here. Well, I mean, why this spot, but, I mean, hey, we're safe, aren't we? So, we'll take it. So, alright then, some deep shit has just gone down. Apparently, the, yeah, they mentioned that we need to free the four dragons or break the seals so we can actually get to the, get to the Goddess Tower, which is actually pretty much our next quest. Um, we have pretty much just talked to our party first to get to a little morale speech and stuff like that. And yeah, ser situation serious. Super, super, super serial. Love South Park. And yeah, we kind of know that, but how? 
you're null. The white dragon? What? But actually, yeah, you remember when we first got the Tamen's Peak, we saw the little white dragon flying around, that was null. Looked just like Ruby, and now we actually know. And, yeah, no, no one believed Ruby this entire time, but yep, she is a red dragon too. And, yeah, okay, we know that, but how do we break the seal? And, okay, we kind of figured that. So, what do we do about this? Wait, okay, just we watch a flashback, that works too. Mm -hmm. And this must be, I wonder when this actually takes place. I mean, it's obviously, well, sometime between after we left Haven Speech and before Pentagulia. That's a really wide window of time right there, but I don't think it's sometime around our trip to Pentagulia. That's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm thinking anyway. And yeah, Dalian is still alive, but just, no, well, this is the first interaction on screen in this game, even though they're acquaintances, to say the least, in the Silver Star Story Completes, which I will eventually either do an LP of that or just a boss fight, so I'm not really sure. But anyway, um, Null might be in a little bit of trouble here. And this actually, this part right here, I actually don't really quite get. I mean, this part I just don't know, but yeah, who actually is Null's father? I don't really remember. I, mean, I guess it might be something from Silver Star Story that I just don't remember, but oh well. Ooh, he taught you a page. Ooh, what now? Ooh. Well, then you're a cow. Yeah, if we're gonna insult each other with farm animals, then it's on, bitch. It's on. Or we can just go with force lightning. That works, too. And I guess that's how he takes the dragon's, the dragon's powers away. That's not good. Not good at all. And with that, yeah, you're now pretty much powerless. You still have the sword in your back. Did you use that? But no, it's just there. Kind of like, um... And Geo in a crisis store, with um, never using the Buster Sword until we actually really need to use it. So, and yeah, when when actually did he do that anyway? When did Dally actually claim Ruby's power? And of course, Ruby's clueless, so she's no well, stupid, cute but stupid. And well, yeah, that's a that's a given. Well, this is all well and good, but can we do we know where any of the other Dragon Seals are? Okay, yeah, that's a start. Oh, crap. Uh huh. Well, duh, of course I'm gonna help her. Um, she'll be fine on her own. That's a dick answer. Yeah, you're supposed to say adventure is my middle name, so. And yeah, no matter what happens, we're gonna help. That's why we're here, so. Oh, hey, it's no problem. That's what we do. We're RPG characters, so. Anywho, first order you should try to reclaim is... Okay, Mauls, that makes sense. Oh, well, Leo has it. Well, that's actually fantastic. And since, yeah, we're kind of friends now, should be, yeah, should be quite easy. And of course, we can't go alone. We have to have our party with us because we can't beat the game with this hero and Lucia. So I guess that could work in a sense. I don't know. We have Lucia to heal you, here to, to attack. And he does have magic, so I guess it wouldn't be too, too bad. But there's one boss in particular that that would suck. So I'll mention that right now. But, but yeah, we, of course, we had to have a full party. And actually, now that I think of it, I've never actually tried to leave without getting the full team back together. I'm, I'm assuming you have to get them all back. But yeah, I would assume Ruby just says something like, Here, we can't leave without everybody else. Let's still talk to them, or something along those lines. But, yeah. And yeah, we're getting a full team back together. All right. If I didn't talk to Lamina, there we go. Well, you should obviously come with us, because you're pretty much our only black mage of the group, essentially, so... Hmm, sounds like a plan. And alright, then, now we have our next little quests all set up, and wait, what's the report going on here? Oh, the Destinies are outside! Oh, well, that is oh so convenient! And, yeah, shouldn't be that hard. I mean, he's our friends, and... Oh, he mentioned the White Dragon Cave. I went through that a little quickly, but yeah, he'll be in the White Dragon Cave for us. Which I actually haven't really seen yet, but... Moving into the world map, I'll show it off. And, yeah, I don't really feel like walking, so I'm gonna try to use the uh, Dragon Wings to get the hell out of here. If the, the game won't let me. That's just awesome. Oh, and we can walk. It's good exercise. So, yeah, we pretty much have our next quest lined up, and actually... Pretty much this entire quest we're doing is essentially all of this too, pretty much. Um, yeah, we do, just a, a look ahead in the disc, we do the White Dragon Aura first, 
then the blue, then black, then red. So, so this uh, pretty much be our nice little quest here that we're working on now, which is actually a lot of fun. A lot of dungeons to go to, many new plot developments, of course, all new equipment, items, enemies, spells, all that good stuff. This is when the game really start to start to pick up here. So. Away we go! And of course, it, you know, the ship was spotted out by Vane, so it makes sense to go out the Vane exit. I know, it's a crazy concept, but, you know, oh well. And the ship is right outside here. Now, actually, before we go on, uh, I do want to make... Actually, um... Nope, actually, never mind. Actually, nope, forget it. Let's join the ship and talk to Leo. And I'll be quiet, and there's just more talking. You must fight me. <sighs> the Chosen. Their way is not right. I know it in my heart. However, I do not know how to escape from the web in which I become ensnared. And my options now are severely limited. I know good must prevail. Prove it now with your sword. And now we have to fight Leo for the White Dragon Aura. One on one. Thankfully Leo isn't too hard, just um... Make sure you have a healing ring on hero quick first thing and have some healing nuts. I'd say about ten or so, and you should be fine. I and when you need to heal, just use it. Use a healing nut, but you should be fine. And now for as far as Leo's attacks go, you see when he's spinning his sword, he'll use flash blade. That's his most powerful attack. Um, when his arms in the air like that, he'll just cast an earth spell for. I uh, think around sixty or so HP isn't too too bad. Magic might be a little worse than that because Leo's earth magic is kind of weak. So, oh, thirteen. I have the wind ring, so actually that's perfect. Alright then, now we stand standing like that, I believe he'll use an item to heal himself. I believe a passion fruit he always uses. Now apparently also he can use a physical attack, but I've never seen it. Because I always kill him really, really fast. So, yeah, the battle prolongs for a while, then I'm, he'll probably use a physical attack. But other than that, not really too hard. And let's see, post sword, one more should take him out, but might take two. We'll see what happens. And do we win? Nope, he's using a uh, um, buzz blade. Never got, to, not, never got a chance to show that one off yet. But, oh well. Okay, one more post sword should do him in now, I think. I hope. We'll see what happens. Please die. You know, crap. Oh well. What does he did use the uh, full heal passion fruit? So, meh. Oh well. And another post sword. And now are you dead? That'd be nice. Oh my god, die. Ow, now I need to heal. Oh, actually... No, I'm gonna be a little dangerous. Hero goes before Leo, so I didn't risk it a little bit. So I'd rather kill him right now and end the battle than prolong it a little bit longer. And... Bleh, he just falls face... Falls face down. And anyway, 5,000 experience points! Level 32! Alright! Thank you, Leo. And not only that, we defeated him and did the White Dragon Aura! Yay! And... Yeah, having Leo would be fantastic, but we have too many people. Well, having six characters would be fantastic, because Leo is badass. And the White Dragon Aura has been obtained. Yay! The cave's an iceberg in the North Sea. We haven't really been out that way yet, because we haven't been able to. So, And we find the Control of Destiny. Alright, finally our first and actually only vehicle in the game. But it's actually it's more than enough, really. And he just told you what the cave was, and besides, he has to go out to do his own thing. Because now he doesn't know what to do. I mean, the, finding out the Chosen's true objective has his heart all in a tangled web, as he said, so... But yeah, as I mentioned before, I, I love the little bad story with Leo. He finds out the Chosen is not right, their way is just not the right way. And then now he has his torment, self-torment, to figure out what he really needs to do, so... But he's a smart guy, he'll figure it out. Sooner or later, so... And alright then, now we have the destiny for our own, which we can now go to the White Dragon Cave. So let's just talk to that. Um, and yeah, we'll have to do a sail west of Moribia and look for China Vice with a hole in it. Sounds fantastic. And okay, that sounds good. And more alliteration from Lamina, that's just awesome. And alright then, more morality speeches, and we now have a request in mind. And our first stop, the White Dragon Cave, next time on Let's Play Lunar 2 Eternal Blue Complete. This has been Iron Movie Sign Off, guys. Have a nice day, and thanks for watching.